Well, in this papercraft projects video, I'm going to show you how to make these nice little boxes. So you have three different sorts here, but if I show you one, um, maybe this one with the horseshoe one, this would make a nice little wedding favour box. And it can be opened by just twisting the end, and you can see that's open, and shut the end by twisting it back again. Makes a nice little sort of cracker shaped gift box or favour box. We've also done one which has hearts all over it, perhaps nice for Valentine's Day. And this one with Pisces on it, hopefully good for a birthday. All of them, as I say, just twist and open, pop in, side whatever you want, and you should just twist and close again. Right, let me show you how I made them. So, here is how I made the boxes. First, I chose a design. Any landscape paper off the site will do. I like it landscape because as you can see from this box, I like the design to go that way. I suppose you could use a portrait one, but if you want to go the same way as me, choose a landscape paper. Here's one with horseshoes on, so it'll make a, a nice little wedding paper box. So on this side, which was actually on this thick photographic paper, it's the glossy side, I printed the design. On the opposite side, I put it back through the printer again, and I printed the template. So the first thing I need to do is cut out all of the solid lines on the template. It's dotted the solid, just cut the, so the solid ones. Have my crab knife again. each of the solid lines and cut the template out. It doesn't have to be exact. The closer you get it, the more square the box will be. I'm sure you don't want me to see me cut out every single one of these. So what I shall do in a second in good old Blue Peter fashion Let's finish this one show you one out from over here, oh, which I did earlier. There we go, let's get rid of these scraps. Here it is with all the solid lines cut out. You'll see you've got these little triangular shapes in it. So it's all cut out and what I need to do next is score along the dotted lines. I'll do it all on the same side, it'll be fine. So again, using the same ruler, this time using a blunt knife, I'm going to score across these lines. Blunt knife, the wrong side, so it's not the serrated bit. This is just an ordinary blunt kitchen knife. 
the type you use at meal times. I'm sure other people have objects they use for this type of work. So I'm going to score on that way along these lines. Oh, one more up there, the hole. And then I'm going to score this way, these lines. do it now but don't forget to do these little cross lines here as well and you will be able to start folding your box. I'm going to fold it that way and at these edges I'm going to do a sort of concertina where that comes up across and that comes up so it looks like that a little sort of concertina edge okay you can see that all right we've got a sort of mountain there do the same the other side to shape shape. So I hadn't done those lines there, I have on uh, another piece. This one's got a nice Pisces finish to it. Anyway, I folded that one the same way. And I did these cross lines here. Now, to complete the box, all I need to do is glue that flap there and these two little flaps here and here. So here's my glue. second and get that to close. Should do. Now, a little flap on this end. And that will do. And the same at the other end. basically the box done. Now you'll find, or you should find, that that end will push straight down. It doesn't stay there. So what we're going to do, if I can get this the right way around, is give it a twist through 90 degrees. Fold it down again. Just like that. See the ends blocked up. Same with the other side. Rather than pushing it straight down like that, we're actually going to twist it 90 degrees and then push it down. And that way it should stay together a little bit better. So 
on the twist. And there's your open box. Down and twist. And that's your closed box. Might be slightly difficult to twist it the very first time, but after that you'll find because of those crease marks you've put in, it should happen neatly. And there is our finished box. I might just keep a little bit of pressure on each end for a little while so it stays together. So, here are the three completed boxes again. This will make a nice little wedding favour. Don't forget, you can open it just by lifting and twisting. Pop whatever you want inside and then close it again. It's a sort of little cracker shaped box. A nice one for Valentine's Day. And maybe one for a birthday. This one's got Pisces on it. Can't quite remember what dates those are. But Pisces. If you wish, if you've got some of those nice scissors which do funny shaped edges, or even a punch, you can make these edges a little bit more decorative. Okay, hope you enjoy making these. And we'll see you soon.